today's topic is on the panoramic radiograph for the opg so this case number 1 is the normal opg i will be speaking about the normal anatomical landmarks that you see in an orthopentogram or in panoramic radiograph first and foremost you see the condyle of the mandible followed by the sigmoid notch and then the coronoid process below the condyle we have the ramus of the mandible and then the angle of the mandible that is seen and then followed by the inferior border of the mandible and within the uh, ramus you can see a canal that is a radiolucency canal that is the mandibular canal which gets terminated towards the uh, second premolar or could say uh, in the case some cases it is seen terminated between the premolars mandibular premolars which is the mental foramen and then move we move on to the maxilla in the maxilla we have the maxillary sinus then the floor of the maxillary sinus and above the maxillary sinus is the orbit you see the floor of the orbit and then you can see a radio peak outline that is seen bilaterally that is the hard palate then you might see even the terigo maxillary fissure in this case you can see a terigo maxillary fissure and you can notify in the uh, articulated surface of the head of the condyle you can see anterior to that is the articular eminence this should be notified in cases of tmj we have to see the head of the condyle as well as the articular eminence and then followed by the styloid process then we have the hyoid bone then the radiolucency structure that we see is the pharynx that's the oropharynx region next we move on to the pathologies that you see in the opg this is an impaction case wherein you can see both the maxillary third molars are been impacted that is more of a vertical impaction this can be cited by the long axis of the eights when we are comparing with the long axis of the sevens so that is how we can find the angulation of each uh, third molar impactions cases next the case scenario for the third one this is a mandibular third molar impaction that you see in the region of 38 where you can see that the long axis of 38 is found to be more of a perpendicular when compared to the left of the long axis of 37 so this can be considered as an horizontal impaction in relation to 38 next case scenario wherein there are a lot of root stems that you can see and also maxillary third molars again it is found to be vertically impacted and you can also notify that the the mandibular third molars are found to be horizontally impacted when compared to that of the sevens next case scenario where it is observed for perio cases where you can see that is a severe generalized bone loss that is seen on the mandibular region and also a missing teeth has been observed so you can see here that there is a generalized interdental bone loss more of a horizontal pattern that has been observed in the mandibular region